Well hi guys, welcome to another episode of On The Bank Angling. Doing something really different today in that I'm pole fishing. Um, I'm on the Great Ooze at uh, Winston I believe this is. It's owned by the Vauxhall Angling Club. And yeah, I'm hoping to catch a mixture of everything really. There's supposed to be bream down here, lots of roach, uh, chub, and uh, maybe the chance of a river tench. So that's brilliant, hopefully. Uh, that would be nice if we could latch into one of them. I've seen some good perch in the swim. I've caught some roach. But initially I went in with maggots and got absolutely obliterated by uh, bleak. So what I've done is I'm actually fishing tears on the hook, which is a little bit different. So uh, let's get the rig out and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Boat with a big eagle owl on top, that's awesome. Right then guys, so let's have a little look at the setup. There's my tear on a size 16 spade end hook. That's uh, one of the Drennan Ready Tides. I believe it's a wide gate version. It's in my box, so uh, okay. I will confirm that for you later. We've only got a couple of small droppers just above the hook link. Bulk shot down to a census road flow. It's about eight foot deep, so decent bit of depth out there. I'm just sort of putting it out on the uh, top three top kit plus three sections and yeah just holding back and uh, yeah I've been catching a few roach doing that hope about where that fish rolled actually hopefully catch a few more It's a little bit busy here through the day at the moment. The swim does go a little bit quiet when all that's going on. But there are fish here, see? Lovely. Try and keep a trick of hemp going in the swim. So many bleak here that a lot of it's probably not getting to the bottom. That's why I fed the ground bait.
playing the rigging. Obviously, I'm no expert pole fishing, so if you're watching and going, oh, why are you doing this? Obviously, let me know in the comments. Go guys, roach on tears. I've had loads of fish like that. Like just sails under each time. Probably should have been, should be catching a lot more than what I am really. Get it right. So good fishing. Someone shot the elastic out the pole before I even had to strike. Who doesn't like catching roach? Right guys, so you've seen the action on the uh, on the tears. Not as frantic as you would think, but picking off the odd fish, which is good, especially on a clear river like this. But now I'll show you why I'm not using maggots. There you go. I can't even can't even get a bait out. It's just no point when it's like that with a maggot. I don't have a choice, I'll just get a bleak on the way. Look. and see what happens but your maggots are already trashed by the time your bait goes in so the float doesn't even lie down look fish on straight away it's actually a perch I 
nuggets, have, they've already been completely chewed. I mean, I, that perch was surprising last time, but I can see fish nailing these as soon as they go in there. You know, I've got a fish on. Not a very big one either, tiny. Oh. Oh, it's been grabbed by something. Let's grab that then. Look at that. Look at that. That's how ravenous the perch are. Had a bleak on and the perch has absolutely nailed it because it's been coming in. This one's just had a narrow escape. Life on the river if you're a fish in the summer months. That Pike's just absolutely nailed that. I had it on for a little bit, not very big pike, a couple of pound. Um, but yeah, we'll get this one back straight away because he's a bit damaged. Right then guys, so the swim's gone quiet now. Um, so what I'm gonna do, got a couple of hours left in the day, is I'm gonna ball in some more ground bait. So what I'm using, it's got the Bait Tech Pro Natural Dark Ground Bait. It's what I've been recommended by anglers that do a lot of this sort of stuff. Nice dark, so the predators, don't, the roach are confident feeding over it because they can't be seen by the predators. Um, so, yeah, got that mixed up with a bit of hemp and a bit of casters in it. So let's start balling it in. Obviously, I've only got a very cheap pole. Part of the reason why I'm making this video is just to show people how easy it is to to pole fish. You don't need a, you don't need a big expensive pole if you're only going to be messing around. And uh, yeah, so what I've got. That's a Preston Innovations big cad pot. And that's all you really need. And my spare top kit, and I've got that on there. Uh, that's what I'm using to cut bait in. Okay, so that's in. One thing I would recommend, even if you are using a cheap pole, is get a cheap pole roller as well. Doesn't have to make things easier, I've found. These aren't massive balls, so put five or six in. doing is putting one down here as well a bit of a closer in line just off the edge of the reeds and yet to drop a rig down there okay. so just mentioning that close in line I did plumb it it's pretty much the same once you get past these uh, lilies and reeds it's pretty much the same depth so I'm gonna go in there with a tear. See how we get on. Okay, there's a fish straight away on that close in line.
again, hopefully there's another one there. And another roach on that line. Obviously, part of the, uh, the skill of pole fishing and particularly match fishing is match anglers would know how to catch these fish quicker. That's why I've gained a lot more respect for, for match anglers, really, because they do know what's going on a lot of the time. See, us, us that are still learning, you know, you just make do with just getting bites, but, you know, there's probably ways I could approach this a bit to get bites quicker. But we'll see, that's two fish on that close in line, that's all right. Haven't loose fed anything on that line, which is interesting as well. Just ground bait's gone in. section where I've been putting the ground bait. I haven't put it in there because the reeds go out just that little bit. Not quite an extra section. Another fish on this close line. Had a few fish on that close in line. Let's go out long again after that ground bait and see if there's anything on it. I'm gonna keep loose feed into a minimum. I don't know whether that's, that's helping get a better bite. I am putting on hemp, but I haven't got the best hemp with me. Found from when I fished hemp before that you need um, quite big bits. Try the uh, not loose feeding. Struggling to hit these. Like I said, guys, say if, if you're more, ex you, I'm the first to admit I'm not that experienced at this kind of fishing. So, if you've got any tips and advice, chuck it in the comment section. Certainly fish over the top of the ground bait anyway. There we go then guys. So probably what five or six pound of fish there. Hard work this afternoon, but it just shows even on the hardest days you can catch some nice fish. You do something a little bit different. Got some, some nice roach in here. 
Um, obviously all caught on, on hemp and, and tears, you know, some cracking sort of hand-sized fish. Lovely, you know, look, there's an absolute stack of fish in there. And uh, yeah, brilliant fun. Um, just really want to see when they're, when they're really on and you can get the 20 pound bags. Now that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? But there you go, that's a nice net of fish. Awesome stuff.